The Sneaking Inspector Knight, and tonight I'm looking at Coupon 2 and 910 Comic Koala. Yes, using Exford Cap tonight for a change. I'm going to have a little look round, do a few things. I'm going to make this a two parter because there's a lot to do, really. But I won't do the other part until tomorrow. Anyway, got Amrock, Audacity I've put in. Sam recorded it from Gnome I've put in because I prefer that one personally. Canine copy for all my uh, wedding backups for my DVDs, of course. What else we got? Office. We got stuff from the K stuff in it. K address book, K organizer. But you do get open office as well. Under settings, we have our software stuff and system settings. As you see, I'm just quickly going through at the moment, so don't worry. We've got hardware drivers. I'll check my hardware drivers. There ain't none. Good. That's the simple reason because it's an all in one board, on board sound, on board video, so there's no special drivers for it, so that's no big deal, is it? Alright, what else are we going to go? We'll go back to applications. Utilities. You get quite a lot of utilities too. Now, as you can see, it's quite a bit different from the known version of Ubuntu, isn't it? Quite a bit, but I like it. You Copetta is your standard messenger on here. You have to install Firefox, but it comes with the installer. So what I'm going to do with Firefox? I don't know. Let's make your DVDs play on your computer. Now, even if you download and install the restricted actors, they still won't play encrypted DVDs, which is the one you get from the DVD shop, which is not very good, is it, really? Now, I could just type it in for you, but I'm going to do it nice and easy for you, with just a copy and paste section. So we'll go to the restricted formats from the community of Ubuntu, eventually. We'll scroll down, tell you a bit about it, and that's the bit of code there that we actually need to put in. As you see there, at the sudo bit, or sudo, whatever you want to call it. But first we need to open the terminal. Now don't get frightened here, yeah? it ain't as bad as it seems. Now I think that the terminal was in this bit, if I scroll down, there it is. It's called console in Kubuntu. Now all we do basically, we just copy, just highlight that all there, copy it over. That's a right click for you and me. Copy. Go back to our console, and you paste it in, tap on enter, and it's going to ask you for your password. Just tap in your password, and off we go, as you can see. It starts reading the database. It doesn't take too long really, so don't worry too much. You just have to wait, that's all. Bit of a bummer, but hey, these things have to be done. But once you've done this, you'll be able to play your standard DVDs in it while you're doing the same calls. There's lots of reasons why they, why they don't put them in the standard packages, even though Linux Mint does. There's a lot of debate about it at the moment, but hey, we won't get into it too much, I don't think. No, we'll go to the BB pay, BBC page, should I say. It's a slow loader, but it's quick tonight. Comes out here nice and strong on the screen, I like it. It's 5.3.5 anyway, so that's good. Right, does the new flash work in Kubuntu? Let's have a look. We click on Top Gear, let's have a look. Now it's looking good already, isn't it? We have a bit of a picture. So we click on click to play. It's playing quite nice, really. Let's just wait for the proper program to come up. There we go. Very, very, very good. Nice and smooth. It's great. Super. So it's looking quite nice, Kubuntu, at the moment, isn't it? Obviously, if you've never used it before, it's going to have some quirkiness that you're not used to. But we'll get to that in a bit, I think. If you open that little section there, it's just a quick access to all your files. That's easy. Bottom bar, we've got bits and bobs there, notifications. Ah, here, for plugged in devices. I'll quickly plug in a USB stick. Hang on a second. There you go, look. And if you want to access it, you can just go up there, click on there. Once is fine, as you know. And open a little stick up. Super duper. All done. Love it. Anyway, that's enough of that one, isn't it? We'll come out of there. Next, we're going to go back down to the menu back down to applications we'll go up to graphics now there's no GIMP there as standard but as you can see it's easy to put stuff on yourself I've put Synaptic on here so you could use Synaptic but on the other hand we shouldn't really we should use their own system so if we st scroll down to their own software package manager there you go K package type in GIMP G-I-M-P eventually bash on enter and it comes up with loads of packages now before anybody says anything here, yes I know there's loads of stuff and you're just about to see me click on the wrong one. This is why sometimes I like to use Synaptic. Never had to use this before. 
so I'm just flashing through it a bit too quick didn't read properly so I'm installing it now and it's not the right one but hey who cares we'll just show you how it works really I can always do that later but yes we're not all infallible should we say I'm inflammable but not infallible type in your password click OK it will start downloading all the packages and start installing them automatically for you it's just the same synaptic would really but it's a bit of a cleaner look isn't it now I do like the shells I got it's really really nice super duper there you go we're back down we're done as you can see there's lots and lots of extras you can put on for GIMP here when you do install it correctly as I say and there's also different languages for the manual even better quite a few now didn't used to be all that years ago Ah, many moons as they say, many moons. So we click OK. I'll go down to the menu, but I know for where it ain't going to be there because I didn't click on the right one. So we'll go up to graphics. Ta -da! It's not there. Just make sure you click on the right one before you do it, unlike me. Okie dokie. What are we going to do next? Right. Audacity I put on as I said earlier. Amrock is a standard audio player. Now I'm going to play with that one on part two of the video so it'll be a lot easier. Dragon Player is your standard video player. Obviously you do need a extra codex if you want to play your DVDs, otherwise it ain't going to play ball. Also, K9 Copy won't work either, it'll just crash. And I think Audacity did as well, <coughs> because I was missing so many codecs. Or codex, should I say. Now you only get one desktop picture. Bit of a bummer, but it's very nice, don't get me wrong. But how do we install others? What will you do is just get new wallpapers, simple as that really. Click on Get New Wallpapers, and you get tons and tons and tons to choose from. Now, on the whole, I really do like Ubuntu. It takes a bit of getting used to it if you've not been used to it, but because it's so clean and fresh, it's really, really nice to use. As you can see, there's loads and loads of wallpapers there. There's a couple you're drawn to, you know what I'm saying. But we're going to choose one in a second, I think. Well, I don't know what to do yet. Anyway, as you can see, it's a really, really nice system to use. Now, if you've just you can upgrade your Ubuntu and you think, ooh, should I go with Ordinary Karmic? Why don't you give KD a chance? Even if it's just for a week to see how you get on with it. Because I think it is worth the wait. Uh, personally, I think it's a bit more resource hungry, but that is my personal opinion, and not everybody else's. Bearing in mind, this is quite a stock dual core system, there's nothing special. That's a nice desktop, isn't it? We'll do one more before we go, I think. And I'll start on part two, maybe a bit later. Anyway, what shall I do? What shall I do? I'm still drawn to that one. Oh, I'll go on then. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if you can actually get any work done with that on your desktop. That will close. Go down. Highlight it and apply. Let's see what it looks like. Now, you couldn't actually get any work done with that, could you really? When you think about it. You'd be doing it all day. Anyway, that's enough for me for now. I'll come back with part two in a few days' time. Sneaky Linux is going out to play. See you later.